In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today, in addition to being the fifth Sunday after Pentecost, is also the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And we pay attention to this feast in a particular way because of the popularity of the scapular, the brown scapular, which nearly all pious Catholics wear. And this is the feast of that scapular. The word scapular comes from the Latin word scapulae, which means shoulders. And it refers to a garment worn by monks in the Middle Ages for their manual labor in order to prevent their habits from being soiled. And this is why the scapulars of the Trappists and of the Dominican lay brothers are black. The scapular, which is so commonly worn, the brown scapular, belongs to the Carmelite order. It is a shortened and miniature form of the Carmelite scapular. In the middle of the 13th century, St. Simon Stock, who was the prior general of the Carmelites at that time, received the scapular from Our Blessed Lady herself. When he was elected to this position in 1245, St. Stein, Stein, Simon Stock, who was very devoted to Our Lady, asked a sign of our Blessed Lady of her special love and protection for the Carmelite order. And Our Lady consented to this request and in London in the year 1261 St. Simon received a vision of our Blessed Lady surrounded by numerous angels and shining with heavenly splendor in which she promised him and his religious institute a unique benevolence and protection. And as a pledge of this protection, she gave him the scapular of the order, saying, Receive, my beloved son, the scapular of thy order and the badge of my confraternity, a privilege granted to thee and to all Carmelites. Whosoever dies clothed with it shall not suffer eternal flames. So these words of Our Lady are the basis of the pious belief that we have that by wearing the scapular we will receive somehow the grace to avoid mortal sin in the end. That is, that we will receive the grace of of final penitence, final perseverance, and somehow work out our salvation. The authenticity of this heavenly vision is attested to by of a certain Peter Swingthons, who was St. Simon's secretary, and he affirms that he himself heard the story of the heavenly vision from St. Simon himself and that he wrote down what St. Simon Stock dictated to him. Furthermore, the sacred liturgy of the Catholic Church upholds the authenticity of this vision by including the story of it in the breviary. Now, it would be erroneous to maintain that the mere wearing of the scapular at the moment of death will automatically preserve one from eternal damnation. It is de fide, it pertains to faith, that no one can know for certain in this life whether he is going to heaven unless you have a private revelation from, from God, as St. Paul did, to that effect. The scapular, therefore, is not some sort of charm or talisman 
with special magical powers. Unfortunately, some lay people look upon it in that way. But rather, it is a sacramental, just like any other sacramental of the church, which carries with it the promise of the Blessed Virgin Mary, for it is a sign of devotion to her. If you go through the trouble of wearing the scapular, of putting it on, of maintaining it, it is a sign of your devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is a sign of your faith. It is a sign of your special love of our Blessed Lady. And she promises a reward for that by her intercession to God, provided certain conditions are fulfilled by the wearer. And these conditions are the normal conditions required for the salvation of our souls. St. Robert Bellarmine states that sacred scripture frequently attributes the power of justification or even of salvation to some object not because it has of itself the power to save but because it possesses the power to do so provided other conditions are present. Just as a seed will grow if certain conditions are present but of itself it can do nothing Pope Benedict the Fourteenth declared that the promise of the scapular must not be understood as meaning that anyone who wears the scapular will by that fact alone be preserved from the sufferings of hell for other good works are commanded, particularly that we should always persevere in the good. The wearers of the scapular should therefore always persevere and never despair. And, and should they fall into sin, they should pray frequently to Our Lady, and especially in times of temptation. Now, one should not conclude from all that I have said that there is no point in wearing the scapular. Absolutely not. The scapular bestows great privileges on those who wear it since it is a sign of the singular protection of Mary and a pledge of the abundant grace which she will obtain for her clients if they observe the commandments and live piously. If they are in sin, they will do penance by her intercession. And if they are in the state of grace, they will persevere in it and will obtain eternal beatitude. But this should be understood in the sense that the Blessed Virgin Mary will do her part and will intercede for those who wear the scapular as long as they do not place any obstacle to the graces which she wins for them. For the wearer of the scapular remains free and is therefore capable through a hardening in mortal sin of frustrating the promise. All this is to say that the scapular should not be worn as a license to sin, but rather as a pious devotion to Our Lady to be accomplished by the observance of the commandments and by prayer. The very same may be said of the First Friday devotion. If one were to frequent the nine first Fridays with the thought of obtaining the certitude of salvation despite whatever kind of life you lived, the communions on those first Fridays would be sacrilegious and the effect would be thwarted right from the beginning for that would certainly be a misuse of a divine promise, a misuse 
of the Blessed Sacrament. In a similar way, if one wore the scapular with the intention of sinning with it in order to escape the punishments of God, then the very act of putting on the scapular with such a superstition would be in itself a mortal sin. On the other hand, even if one should sin frequently, mortally, he should nevertheless continue to wear the scapular in the hope that the Blessed Virgin Mary will obtain for him the graces necessary to do penance and to go to heaven. If he does this, he's wearing the scapular in the proper spirit and he should continue to do so. The other privilege attached to the scapular is the release from purgatory on the first Saturday after the wearer's death. This is known as the Sabbatine Indulgence. And it has been approved by many popes, including Pope Paul V, St. Pius X, and Pope Pius XI. The fact that this devotion to Our Lady takes the form of a scapular, which is a sign of manual labor, should remind us that it is a pledge of humble service to the Blessed Virgin Mary the fact that it is so visible means that by wearing it we are professing our devotion and our faith, our special devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. It has been described as the livery of Our Lady. You think of horses attached to a carriage. They have livery, that is, straps. And so the... the the scapular is the livery of Our Lady. You are tied to her. Scapulars were worn in the Middle Ages, not only by monks, but also by knights over their armor to show their allegiance to their liege lords. And so when we wear the scapular of, our Blessed Vir of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we are showing our allegiance to her. It should be noted that you must first be enrolled in the scapular of Our Lady, for it is not sufficient merely to put it on. Now, most are enrolled after First Communion, but there was a period there, if the 19, late 1960s, 1970s, uh, 1980s, where if you received your First Holy Communion in the Novus Ordo, almost certainly they did not enroll you in the scapular. So if you have not been enrolled, you should be enrolled one day. You should ask the priest to enroll you. Uh, if you are enrolled, there is no necessity to have the scapular, a new scapular blessed. You simply take off the old one, burn it, and put on a new one, there is no need to bring it in and have it blessed. Nor should you be superstitious about taking it off from time to time in order to take a shower or whatever, because that would be a, an, a that is not the intended purpose of the scapular, that we should necessarily have it on 24 hours a day without any interruption. So if there is a good reason to remove it, but on the other hand, you should keep it on in the hospital. You should keep it on when you're ill. You should keep it on during surgical operations, etc. It should also be noted that scapulars and other sacramentals in general should not be used by non-Catholics. Sometimes the zeal of the lay people would draw them to put scapulars uh, on non-Catholics or encourage non-Catholics to wear scapulars or to use other Catholic sacramentals. And that is wrong. A non-Catholic can
cannot use a Catholic sacramental because it is part of the visibility of the Catholic Church, just as the seven sacraments are. They cannot use the seven sacraments because that pertains to the Catholic Church and a a use of one of the sacraments is a profession of faith in the Catholic Church. So also the use of the sacramentals is a profession of faith. So you should not um, give or uh, sacramentals to non-Catholics or encourage them to use them. It should furthermore be noted that in 1910, St. Pius X permitted the substitution of a medal for the wearing of any of the scapulars as long as the medal has been blessed for that purpose by a priest. The medal must have on one side the image of our Lord showing his sacred heart and then and on the other side any image of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The wearing of the scapular is a devotion that pertains to all times, for men sin in all times, to be sure, and in all times they need the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary. But in these times of particular faithlessness and impurity, the wearing of this holy sacramental is to be more fervently encouraged. If you have not been enrolled, then ask to be. If you have been enrolled at First Holy Communion and you are not now wearing the scapular, then take the trouble to bear piously this holy sacramental on your shoulders. Take up this devotion to Our Lady, which marks you as a faithful son or daughter of Our Blessed Lady, and which will gain for you, if worn with the right intention, the fulfillment of her promise to preserve you from the fires of hell. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.